I'm sorry to mess you around. Oh, don't worry about that. He feels he owes it to Jack to at least try and give it another go. No, no, I understand. But what happens if he finds it too much again? He won't. He felt like he was on his own before. He's got us to help. And if anything, he's stronger now. And you? Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'd do if something happened to Mark. I'm trying... to stay strong for the kids. If there's anything I can do... It's enough giving Andy another go. Right, well, I will talk to Mick and I'll sort it out for you. I'll do that. The way we've messed him around, the least I can do is tell him myself. OK. Cheers. Maybe we should have a party to celebrate. We don't even know if he's coming home yet. Well, Celeste couldn't say it, but that is what he was getting at. Since when have you complained about having a party, anyway? I'll check you out. Can he be all right coming back? The police still want to talk to him about Alice. Well, he must have a plan up his sleeve or he won't risk it. He must be dead worried about Debbie. I didn't know if he'd heard what happened. But I should have known he'd come through for her in the end. <laughs> Ooh. Come in! He's Sarah here. Yeah? Never got a chance to say goodbye before. She's having a nap. All right, I'll come back later then. All right, no! Uh, you can't. We we've got plans. I only had her for a few hours last night and the least took her before I got a chance to say goodbye to her today. Well, it's not her fault. Well, I can't see why you couldn't just let me have longer. You know I've only just said goodbye to my dad. Yeah, and we're sorry about that. But it, it doesn't change what's happened. You have still a long way to go before you prove that you can be trusted again. There you go. Thanks. Now, if there is anything that you need, even if it's just a shoulder to cry on, yeah? I'll be fine. Diane, you didn't have to come and short farm out today. Actually, I did. Andy's decided to keep it. Eh? I just saw him yesterday. He said he were ready to leave. I know how much it meant to you, but he, he couldn't go through with it. Look, I promise you, we will put your name down for the very next farm that comes up. That could take years. I'm sorry. We never meant to lead you on. Ah, oh, story of my life. Oh, I see. Look, Grandad, I can explain. I don't want to know. Hey, I believe congratulations are in order. I heard you're taking over the farm. Well, you heard wrong. He's still looking for Jasmine. Diane says you're thinking about staying here for a bit. Yeah, well, it's the only place that feels like home at the moment. But you didn't live here for that long. I know, but our house is gone and the farm's where Dad really belonged. Still reminds me of him. What's up? The dingoes don't think I'm good enough for Sarah. See if they're any better, eh? I'm so sorry. I heard about the farm. Why? You obviously weren't planning on working then. Eh? It doesn't mean I wanted you to lose it. I can't believe you never told me about that job. No, I didn't want to upset you. I knew how much you wanted us to work together again. I thought it was what we both wanted. Look, you know how much I love working with you, but I trained as a gamekeeper, and when the job came up, it just seemed too good to turn down. So you just took the job without telling me? I'm sorry. I fought to get back to the land. I thought it was where we belonged. If I'd known I was forcing you, I wouldn't have bothered. Oh, Mick, can I... Dan, how are you? Why does everyone keep asking me that? How do you think I am? I'm sorry if I said the wrong thing. You didn't. You're obviously upset. I'd be okay if 
everyone stopped asking me if I'm okay. They're worried about you. I don't know what to say. Of course, I'm not okay. I've just lost the love of my life. But if I stop and think about it, I'll fall apart. Maybe you need to. Someone has to sort out the kids. I'm a father. You can't pretend nothing's happened. Why not? As if it, we just had another daft falling out. And he could walk back in any minute. Diane. We've argued so many times and then sorted it out. But this is it. The end of everything. And I don't know how to carry on. <laughs> What's going on? The searching for our kin. Anything? We told you he weren't here. Well, that's not the information we received. Well, whoever told you that got it wrong. We haven't seen our kin in years. Well, we'll be keeping a watch on the house in case he does turn up. What are we going to do? Well, it's too late to warn him, even if we knew where he was. We can't let him just walk into a setup. Uh, yeah, and we can't stop him. How did they know he were coming here? I don't know, it's that solicitor stitched him up. But why would he come and see us, if he were going to do that? Well, it must have been him, he's the only one who knew. No, he wasn't. And he knew. You don't think it were it? I hope not. Cos if he gets our cane locked up, well, there'll be more than one funeral this week. <laughs>